Hey, water sign. Hello, Cancer Pisces Scorpio. How are you doing? Thank you for the notes. Yes, the spiritual business class is still open. Uh, it is being closed um, uh, on the 3rd, February 3rd at 5 p.m. So if you want to learn how to turn a spiritual gift into a business, get on it. There's a link below. Also, a friend of mine who is a published author, Jack Gilden, he is going to be uh, doing one of the sessions, or si it's six weeks. He'll be doing one of the sessions talking about writing your book. All right, and that's an important thing. Um, also, I'll be teaching you everything about YouTube. Lots of new stuff from the first time I taught this class, so um, that might be of interest to you. Those who took the class the first time will get this second round uh, recorded, okay? You get, get the recordings of the second round of this. So jump on if you'd like to learn how to read tarot like i do the class is always available to you the link is below okay water signs so let's see what's going on for you <sighs> sun moon rising and venus if this does not uh, resonate for you check out your february reading everybody's is up now also check out your moon rising or venus sign cancer pisces scorpio let's see what's going on for you I think you were in the air sign reading today pretty heavily. Moth spirit, letting go, surrender. Surrender, chameleon, act as if. I like that, act as if. Bobcat, life is a mystery. So you may have been manifesting for a while here and you're not really seeing anything yet. Okay, so I know that that can get discouraging, right? You're like, expecting things to show up on your, in your life path, you know, on your path, right as you manifest them and all of that. And that will happen the better you get at it, the better you get at letting go and acting as if being in the energy of that person or that abundance or whatever it is, it's already existing. It's just a matter of you pulling it in. Okay. So the more you can shift into that kind of energy and allow for the fact that life's a mystery, allow it cool it's no big deal you don't have to control everything it's something that will come to you it will flow to you and being in that mindset is good three of Pentacles really wanting to build something here lovers I like I said you uh, you were in the air sign reading so here's Gemini hanged man dealing with an air sign here seven of swords Two of Swords. Whew, this person is uh, very resistant. Even though you guys know that you're meant to be together or that you're uh, soulmates. Yes. Ten of Cups. I feel like this person got scared. This, this air sign. Nine of Pentacles. Seven of Wands. Resisting this. Yeah, High Priestess. So you're like, you know what? Okay. Um, this person ran away. I feel like you were doing good. You were doing, you know, kind of building, kind of, you know, moving, moving forward with things. And all of a sudden, this person just ghosted you. All right. Looks like an air sign to me. Um, they are somebody who... They very much view themselves as trapped sometimes, okay? Like the life partner can view themselves as getting trapped. They might have run away from you at one point, okay? They might have lied to you about certain things. It was just like they just freaked out, okay? They just freaked out. So you kind of sitting here just like, you know what? We built something. We built a good foundation. You have. You've built, and this is just a momentary freak out, all right? I feel like it's just a momentary freak out to a sword's judgment energy. You know, you guys know, both of you know, because this is enlightenment too, okay? The hanged man and judgment are both enlightenment. This person chose to run away 
and you're looking at it like, wow, this is like the best thing ever. This person's the best thing ever. And then they disappear on you. All right. So nine of pentacles, seven of wands, high priestess. Um, there's going to be another conversation. There's going to be another conversation here. I feel like you're kind of like just going to wait and see. They're really struggling here. Okay, Ace of Cups, Four of Cups, Death. Yes, they're really struggling here. Um, this person could also be uh, a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, or have some Earth energy that they're generating. So this is something that when love is presented to them, they resist, okay? Whoopsie. They resist, and now they're changing. This person is transforming that F eighth house energy of Scorpio. They are transforming. They are moving out of this resistance energy, okay, and into something that's more nurturing. I feel like the Three of Pentacles has something to do with this. There's some kind of thing that you're doing together or are going to be doing together that's really building this connection um, you might you might be doing some work together or you might be you you might know each other from work when it's straight up love I feel like this person does freak out a little bit but when you can um, instead of being in that energy about it's all about relationship and all about love um, the more you can be sort of in this place of Nine of Pentacles, High Priestess, whatever. You could be pushing back on them a little bit, Seven of Wands. I feel like they'll come around. This is part of their journey here to come around. Queen of Cups. There you are. Emperor. Eight of Pentacles, Chariot. All right, so I've gotten all of the Cancer Pisces Scorpio here. This person, like I said, could be a, a Gemini. I also see Aries here, Sagittarius, Aries, Sag, Leo. Okay, and the thing is that this person does love you, but they're just kind of, um, I don't want to say controlling, well, maybe they are. Okay, <laughs> maybe they are a little controlling. But I also feel like they could have also had a partner who was very controlling of them. And so it feels like a little bit like PTSD, like they're boxed in. And that's why they escape. They run away from things when they feel like they're trapped. Okay, and so the key here is with this person is to allow for freedom. Allow for a lot of freedom so that it can move forward. And I feel like the person and and focusing on a financial thing or a project together, that's going to also calm them down, keep them from resisting. All right. So you're just going to have to be really peaceful and confident. Peaceful and content uh, and confident that this person is going to get their shit together. I feel like they will. Okay. I feel like they will. I feel like there's really some really great stuff here. Past life soulmate, 10 of cups. They're afraid of the situation. Um, it could have involved a lie. Let's see here. Yeah, they just lied because um, they're sorry about it. Yeah, they lied because they were confused. All right, and they're sorry about it. They might have run away from you. They're anxious. They're nervous. They just have that energy about them. Like a, um, like a, a stallion, right? Like a horse. Like, um, you know, that spooks easily. Okay, this person kind of spooks easily. Queen of Wands. This person is likely a uh, likely a fire sign, like I said, or with Gemini. Okay. All right. So if you'd like to sign up for the classes, the link is below. If you'd like to continue on this reading and see where we go, I will look at um, 
I'll look at this person a little more in depth to give you some more information and also timing. We're going to look at that too. Okay. All right. Link is below for you. I'll see you over there.